Hey guys, welcome back to another Vinny Vid production. Um, this video is going to be about the next step that I need to take to start putting my uh, track arrangement back together. Um, I'm going to call it uh, preparing the sub road bed for turnout control. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how I uh, accomplish getting uh, the turnout controls under the track and have all my ground throws. Uh, on one side of the uh, uh, track. Anyhow, um, stay tuned and if you guys have any questions feel free to ask. You know I always will help you out as much as I can. Uh, <clears throat> anyhow, uh, stand by and we'll have the video coming up here real soon. Bye. Alright guys, we're getting ready to uh, relay the track in the uh, area that I was going to make all those modifications. And as I told you guys, um, what I use on my track to secure to the, to the uh, sub road bed is uh, a mixture of 50-50 white glue. And I just pour it in there and as you can see it's pretty solid. Um, but now to get this up, all I have to do is spray it down with water, give it a few minutes and then just pick it right up. Anyhow, after you do that you're left with all these uh, little bumps here. So to get rid of those bumps you'll use the same procedure. Um, just uh, spray bottle with some water in it and we'll just spray it up all the way down and we'll give it a few minutes and then we'll just take our uh, little putty knife here and we'll just scrape it and it'll come right up and then I'll be ready to uh, start laying the track so uh, after a few minutes let's see if it starts to come up and look at that all the bumps come away and you gotta be patient uh, some of it come right up you may have to do it twice to get it up but the, bait, the main thing is we need to get it down to the sub road bed so the track the new track will lay flat and so this is all we need to do and as you can see the bumps are going away And like I said, it might take a couple of tries to get it all done. But um, anyhow, uh, this is how it's going to uh, clean up. And after I get this all cleaned up, we'll start laying some track down and start fitting everything together. So stay tuned and we'll be back shortly. Alright guys, now that I have all the uh, sub road bed cleaned up, what I did next was I positioned my turnouts where they're going to be. And by the way, um, this one here, um, I flipped. I, it was a uh, left hand. I changed it over to a right hand. And also, in this area up here, I decided I'm not going to add that extra turnout um, just to keep the challenge in there for the, sh um, for the uh, switching operations. Anyhow, um, you see that red mark right there? Um, I'm going to have all my ground throws towards the inside of the layout because um, back here there will be a skyboard and uh, so all the switching will be done from that side of the layout right there. Anyhow, um, the red line that I got is uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to use uh, my Dremel tool and I'm going to groove this out right here. And then once it's grooved out, I'm going to use um, the uh, brass tubing and I'm going to lay it under there because there'll be a track that goes over this. And the reason why I'm using the brass tubing is so when I do my ballasting, um, I don't have to worry about the rod that's inside. And then I'll just use a piece of piano wire. Let me see if I can do this here. And if you guys can see it. Sorry for all the movement. But you can see there's the piano wire and it'll move back and forth to uh, throw the turnout. Anyhow, um, I will get to the next part of this video uh, shortly. Um, first thing I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to groove this out. And there's another one here. And there'll be another one here. Um, and you can see i got all the ground throws lined up where they are going to go. And uh, so we'll be back uh, in a little while to show you the next step on how I'm laying my track. Be back in a little bit. All right, guys, what you're looking at now are the grooves that I did for my uh, tubing that I'm going to be using. I did this one, 
and I did that one over there and also um, this guy over here and the reason why I'm doing this is because I want all my uh, ground throws to be on the inside of the layout um, because eventually like I mentioned there'll be a skyboard right where my camera's sitting right now so anyhow uh, the process will be um, here's my brass tube here's my piano wire the brass tube needs to be shorter than the, than the uh, piano wire so there's uh, enough movement like that and uh, once I am ready to do this because I need to uh, wire up all four of these turnouts before I install them permanently but the object of this whole thing was so I can put this in here and it will lay down flat and I'll be able to run a piece of track right over it and it won't have any bumps in it or anything the uh, tubing will get CA'd to the uh, baseboard and also the ground throw itself will be CA to the baseboard. Um, once I get this in here and I put my uh, tube and my wire in, I'll feed it up through the hole and run it out to the uh, ground throw and then bend it according to where I need to have it adjusted. Uh, <clears throat> and basically, uh, that's going to be the whole deal on this. Anyhow, um, I think that's going to be it for this section of the video. Um, the next section of the video will be actually when I uh, start wiring the turnouts and put them in position and then they will uh, um, predict the rest of the track laying uh, between the turnouts and the rest of the layout. Uh, anyhow, uh, and thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as always, your questions, comments, input, and, and subs are welcome. For now, that's all folks, BNSF 6951 out.